Hello and welcome to Sunburn Encounters. Welcome. We have a very, very special segment for you today called Do Angels Really Exist? I have Rafa with me and he has a testimony. Uh, the Bible says in the, in the book of Hebrews, the writer says, concerning angels, he makes his angels winds and his ministers flames of fire. And another portion of scripture says, be careful how you treat people because you could actually be entertaining angels unaware, which means they may actually look like people. Other places throughout scripture, an angel shows up and the people fall over like dead men. Hallelujah. So angels, they do exist. And we have a fresh testimony here that I'm so excited and encouraged for you to hear. Uh, Rafa, there truly are more for us than against us, aren't there? Sure thing, Bo. Yes. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, I just want to share this amazing story like Bo was saying. Um, something happened with my family, and I was driving home so that I could be with them and help them. And it was raining, and I was nervous and anxious about what was going on. So I was um, driving faster than I should, um, and it was not a very wise decision. So don't do that. Um, and I remember that it was just really hard um, to be driving under those weather kind of circumstances. And um, it was, a, um, anyway, I was driving and I was trying to um, get to the fast lane and keep going. And on the right lane, there was this truck coming um, and the truck was behind me. And I was like, oh my gosh, I had to just like, I have to pass this truck and keep going because I cannot, you know, just... I have to be with my family right now, they need me, and I was driving, but as I was driving, because of the rain and there was something wrong with the, with the road, I lost the control of my vehicle and I ended, I, my car spun and I ended up facing the truck that was coming on the right lane. And that was not a very interesting experience and I remember that um, I couldn't think of anything else and I, the only thing that I thought it was, God, my life is yours. Um, and as soon as I said that, I could literally see the lights of the truck. It was I was facing the truck coming towards me, and I thought, well, I'm going to die, but God, my life is yours. And as soon as I said that, I, I literally, my car, for some reason, was pulled out of the right lane, and my car had stopped. My car stopped on the right lane facing the truck that was coming towards me. And the car simply was just like pulled out of it, and I fell in a ditch and it was not really good because it was muddy and I think that my car for some reason was sinking and something was wrong and I was thinking God what happened and after that the only thing that I could think of is was that I needed to take my car out of the ditch so that I could keep driving to be with my family and then two men appeared by the ditch and they said are you okay and I looked at them and I said, where, where, where did these people come from? And I couldn't really think about what was going on. And I said, yeah, I'm okay. I just have to take my car, my car out of the ditch so, so that I can keep driving to be with my family. And they said, you almost died there. Are you aware of that? that the truck was coming right towards you. It was, it's a miracle that your car is there where it is and that you're still breathing and talking to us. And I said, yeah, okay, can you help me take my car out, out of the ditch? Because I just wanted to be with my family so bad. I, I was not really thinking about my, my safety. Um, and they said, we're going we're gonna to try to find something or someone to tow your car and help you out. So they disappeared. I don't know what happened. They called someone and a, a, a big truck just came by and this gentleman was trying to tow my car out of the ditch. And he said, well, here's the problem. Your car is really deep into the ditch and we can't really take you out of it. And he was trying to take the car out of the ditch and it was raining and I was nervous and I didn't know what to do. And I was worried about my family. And at the same time, I didn't really want to tell them what, what had just happened to me. And I was like, God, what am I going to do? And he said, if your car, and the, the, the gentleman told me, if your car keeps on sinking in the ditch, you're going to lose the car. I, I won't really be able to take it out of there. And it, that's actually dangerous. And he was actually already pulling my car out of the ditch with a, with a cable so I was kind of like halfway out of it. And he said, I can't keep pulling it because your car is now pulling my car in the ditch. So you should pray. If you have faith, I'm going to actually have to remove the cable. And if your car goes down towards the ditch and it falls again, I won't be able to help you. And I don't know what to do next. And I was like, God, I don't know what to do. And I looked down and then I prayed and I said, God, I need you. And then I looked up again and in the mirror, I, I saw two men actually. Um, but they were dressed in light and in glory, and I knew that they were angels. And I literally saw with my human eyes, one in the left 
and one in the right. And the one in the right, he, I could see both of them, their shoulders were like behind the car and they were pulling the car up, pushing the car up. And I was like, what? And I looked back and I could see them, not only in the mirror, but as I looked back, I was able to see both of them right there. And um, the one in the right, his face was shining so much. And his face was shining and then his face was like a lion and then his face was like a man. And I could not understand and I, I, I just, I didn't, I don't even know what was going on. I was just, I didn't even know what was going on. I was so happy and blessed and I could feel the presence of the Holy Spirit and those two men right there helping me out. And it was just amazing. And I remember that I looked to the right, to the one whose face was like a lion and then changed like a man and he kept changing back and forth. And he said, I got this. Don't worry. I got this. And I was like, Jesus. And then I was like, okay. And I prayed, Father, I pray that these angels would stay here as um, the gentleman pulls, um, removes the cable of my car. And I pray that my car would not fall. And after I finished praying, he came, the gentleman came to me and he said, yeah, we're all good. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, oh yeah, I removed the cable. Your car didn't fall. And then I put it back in and you're good to go. And he literally pulled my car and I didn't even notice that he pulled my car. He removed the cable. The car didn't go back to the ditch. And then he put the cable back in and pulled me out and I was safe and the car was safe. And I went back home and I don't know where those two previous men that I saw on the road who called this man who was now towing my car. I don't know where he came from. I don't know where those two men came from. I just know that there was an angelical intervention for my life from that night. And I want to encourage you to believe that God is real, that angels are real, and they are here to work with us and to partner with us and to bless us. And they are excited. Um, Bob Jones said something once that's really amazing. Um, if I'm not wrong, he said something about how angels yearn to be a part of our testimonies. They want to be able to be a part and join and partner with us and be a part of our testimonies in the kingdom right here and right now. So I just encourage you to pray and ask God to give you faith so that you would be aware of the Holy Spirit around you, so that you would be aware of the safety. The Bible says that he would send his angels to take care of us so that our feet would not stumble on the rocks. God is amazing, and I really believe that he has angels assigned to protect you, to guard your family. So be aware and just partner with God, engage your faith with the Holy Spirit, and watch miracles happen. I love you. Bye.